Hello, my name is the Retro Gaming Goose, and today we are going through another walkthrough of one of my favourite, favourite games that I think is very, very underlooked. Uh, this is Space Marine Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. Um, it's a hack and slash game from 2011, and it is, it is very Warhammer 40k. It is awesome. So we're just going to get straight into it. Yes, campaign. New campaign. Let's go for normal. It's a uh, it's a little bit like um, a little bit like Gears of War, but Warhammer forty kified. I'm gonna keep all the cutscenes in, so just let this play out for a bit. In the grim darkness, there is only war. This game is so well made. It's just such a war. I was just admiring the cutscenes and stuff for how, how sort of like retro 80s the aesthetic to this game is. It's just so good. It's clearly made like if you're a fan of the Warhammer 40k universe and if you play the tabletop like I do, it's it it's so well done. Even if you're not a Space Marine fan, it is. Oh, look at it, dripping with 40k lore. This is. I also remember it having one of the most badass like intros to any game. Uh, this is going to be a little shorter video part one just because uh, time constraints at the moment. But just watch this game. music and production value of this game is so great, it's so over the top. There he is. They've recently just really uh, announced, well about a year ago they announced uh, Space Marine 2 come to PS5 and uh, Series S and I, I can't wait for that, I'm so excited. This game really gets across how much of a badass the Super Soldier, Ultramarines and Space Marines Adeptus Atratus are supposed to be in this. For a 2011 game, this is this is pretty good. This holds up really well.
murder everything. I remember there is a way you can get like a glory kill, so I think that's what that is there. Yes. Get some health back. until just now. Ah, oh, the bolter. Such a good Warhammer weapon. Oh, wait until we get the, the other weapons later on. You can do some absolute horrendous things to people. These weapons feel so punchy as well. Oh, I forgot how fun this game is. God, there's one thing I love, it's playing fun games. I've not actually played this, the PS3 version before. I used to have this on Xbox a lot. Uh, but the PS3 version I picked up well, pretty cheap now. You can get it for, uh, I went to CEX, I think I got it for about two pounds. So, you know, awesome. And it's, it looks pretty good on the PS3. It runs a little bit smoother than the Xbox version. Um, the Xbox 360 version. The best way to play it is probably the P PC version. If you you can pick it up on Steam, it's always on offer on Steam. I'm trying to get the glory kill. Come on. Yes, stamp on that head. Oh, beautiful. Anything more fun than killing orcs in this game? I can't wait to get the better weapons. It's, it's bringing back nostalgia. I don't think I've maybe like the Dawn of War games. They're really good, but this is the to making you feel like a hero of the Ultramarines, a proper space marine. This game completely captures it. you ever want to feel like a space marine oh look at that power pose okay and you you're gonna die as well dead nice reload is there a reload button yeah all right cool I, I always love the cockney orcs as well that they have in every single warhammer 40k game I've always wanted to start a, a, an orc army in, in 40k, I've just never got around to it. Uh, at the moment, my main army is um, Adeptus Soratus, the Sisters of Battle. It's what I, I like playing as at the moment on the tabletop. Uh, I do have some Dark Angels, They're, they are my, my Imperial Space Marine army that I've had. But the next army I am going to get is 100% going to be the Leagues of Ultron when they come out, because I love Dwarves and I love space dwarves and I don't know I just think it's a cool idea it's a little bit different to the Imperial Guard but it's still kind of like the Imperial Guard I always loved the dwarf armies and Warhammer Fantasy I think the Total War games really really got me into the Warhammer like I'd love to do a playthrough of Total War except for my computer just really doesn't run it very well I've got a bit of an old computer so maybe once I get a better computer I'll, uh, I'll definitely try and run that if, if that's what people want to see, like eventually I'm just going to have to keep to what people want to see when playing these games. Oh, what an intro. Ten minutes already, that's not too bad. Ten minutes in, we get an intro. It's alright, I guess we did watch the cutscenes. Titus, Damn orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought anyone left alive. Still fighting. 
Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. I think a lot of games that came out in 2011 had the same sort of colour scheme. Like, if you didn't know this giant <laughs> space marine, you, this could be easily out of Mass Effect 2 or like um, just any game that was brown. Oh, just brutalising people. Oh, yes. I think I get a bolter in a minute bolt pistol but in a minute I should get a bolt rifle what's through here let's have a look this looks like a hollow log up here grab you uh, there's nothing else do, 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 do. I like the stomping this is a stompy game I like it God, it makes me want to play a Space Marine game again. It was start a Space Marine army. Pick up the bolter. Yes. Oh, that feeling of the bolter. It makes it, even though it's like your first two-handed weapon, makes you feel powerful. Yes. And what I've noticed as well, the, the vibration, the, the dual shot 3, I think, for the... Uh, the PS3, what I'm using at the moment, what, you can feel the, the vibration feels really strange. Um, is in it's really good in when firing this gun. Like I can feel I, on the Xbox 360 version, it was just a standard vibration, but this feels like the vibration is pulling back on the on on the um, on the controller, which is a, a nice little thing that I didn't realise it did. Uh, so it feels like I've got recoil, which is quite cool. I heard that this was a good version of the game. Right, give me some ammo. Oh. So that's my, my gears of war coming in thinking I could get behind cover, but it's not it's not a cover shooter because you're a space marine in massive armour, so I like it that my teammates actually doing work. It's actually murdering people for me, which is good. I mean they're only filthy Xenos, so it's not really murder. It's a cleansing. Cool, cool, cool. That's on me, that is. I should have rolled out the way. Give me some health, please. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good mechanic. Stun people in melee to get the health back. That's... Cool, cool, cool. Sorry. 
Christian. Okay, let's keep going. I like it that the, the orcs in the Warhammer 40k museums are just sentient mushrooms, which is a crazy backstory for for these creatures. Stomp, 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 stomp. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that gun. I want to know how. Some ammo. My lord, you have saved us. Rise, Gaussman. You saved yourselves. We thought you did. We would be, my lord, if not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, Gaussman. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. Okay, I think that's a pretty good place to end the first part of this video there, uh, in the second level. Uh, I, I would normally play a bit longer, but I have some time constraints today, I've got a busy schedule on. So that is part one of the Space Marine playthrough. We did the intro, we did a part of the first level and the second bit of the second level, and we are going to just, I'm going to try and post them as often as possible um to work around my sort of like time constraints and work and things like that but i hope you have enjoyed this first little bit of uh space marine i think you know what the game's about and if you're interested in the story and me playing through it please come back and watch part two which will be out as soon as possible um and uh, thanks, for, please like the video, comment down below if you're a fan of Warhammer and if you have a Warhammer army which you collect, I'm genuinely really interested. Uh, and please subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching and until next time.